Hi, I'm Beth from Sew Country, and today is week one of the Lotus Lane Crossbody Bag Sew Along. This pattern is from KB Crafts, and this sew along will take place in her Facebook group. So this bag is unique in the way is that it is birthed. Most bags of this shape are a bound bag. The designer wanted to give sewists something they had been asking for, which was a bag in this shape with no binding. So even though I'm a huge fan of binding and I love to bind bags, I'm gonna show you how to birth this bag so that you can do it exactly like the pattern. If you're someone that loves binding, I will go ahead and tell you at the steps where you could choose to bind it if you wanted to. Let's look at this bag. We have a front flap here. You can lift it up and you can see it's fully encased. The pattern does call for magnets. I didn't feel I needed magnets on this one. I made two of the, these. This will be my third one. And I didn't use snaps on mine, but you can use snaps there if you want. The pattern when I made this one, it was still in the testing phase and she had not decided to put a slip pocket on the back here, but you can put a slip pocket back here. When you open this bag up, You can see it opens wide. We have two zipper pockets on each side. We have a slip pocket on one side. We have credit card slots on the other. So even though this is a medium sized bag, it really can hold a lot of stuff and be very efficient. Let's go over the pieces for this bag. The pieces, I'm gonna break them down by section just to kind of help you be clear. I feel like the hardest part of um, starting a new project is figuring out what pieces go where to decide on your collars and things. So let's talk about the gusset first because of course that's the easiest. We know the gusset is going to be a top zipper gusset portion and then a bottom gusset. For the bag I'm sewing in this video I'm using all quilting cotton and so that's you can see in this one I did use vinyl but on this one it's going to be all cotton. So of course you will need your zipper and you'll need your zipper pull on that. You will need your zipper gusset. I'm gonna unclip the, these. You will need two exterior zipper gusset pieces. Pretty long. Two lining zipper gusset pieces. You will put Decaville light on your exterior zipper gusset panels. I have not attached mine yet. I still have it separate. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew my zipper and then slip it inside and then iron it down as I go. But you can go ahead and attach yours now if you want. The pattern does give you the measurements for the deck of the light to keep it out of the seams. Put this aside. And then we have our bottom gusset piece. An exterior and lining of that as well. Again, the exterior will take a piece of Decaville light. Or your interfacing of, of choice is equivalent to Decaville light. Next, I'm just going to mention about the D-ring connectors. I'm going to put those right here in the gusset, so let's talk about those. You will cut the strip one, at one piece, it'll be all together, and then you will fold this in half and cut it to make your two. So one piece for your D-ring connectors. I do have, I'm using rectangle rings on mine, so I do have those attached here. I will be using webbing for my strap, so I haven't decided the color yet, but you'll need to either use your material for a strap or webbing or whatever your choice is. So let's get these pieces out of the way, and that is our gusset, everything you'll need for it. The next thing I wanna talk about is this front. This front has a lot of pieces to it, so we'll go over that in you know each one individually and break it down. But just so you know, if you just wanted this shape, you could make this crossbody very simple with just this cut out four of your back pieces, and you could have it a very simple bag if you wanted to. A lot of these features are extras. The designer put a lot of nice design features in this bag, but you can keep it simple if you want. So let's look at the front. I'm gonna put this here so I can reference it a little bit. So let's look first at this. We'll have a front flap. This front flap is gonna be this portion you see peaking right here. So if you look at your front, 
The main things you're going to be seeing are your pocket pieces. If you have a fabric that you really want to showcase, it's only going to get a small bit of canvas here on your front. It's going to mainly be showcased on your back. Your pocket is going to be your main feature on this front bag. So that is my top. It's going to be this green and you only need one piece of that. I used a cotton woven and I just interfaced it with, I use Royal Pixie Light, but you can use SF101. Now for your flat piece, that is going to be piece E, you're going to need two of those and you are going to need an exterior and a lining. Because you can see when I flip it up, you can see it. it is a finished flap. Then we will need our bottom, what's this called? The bottom front exterior. Now this part is going to be this part in here. That's our bottom front exterior. And then your exterior front pocket, you will need, that is piece D, you will need two pieces for it, your exterior and your lining. These are the pieces that are going to come together to make the front of this bag. So the construction for this will take place in week two. We will construct everything with our bag. Sometimes if I feel a little overwhelmed with the pattern and, and or if I'm not in a good sewing place, sometimes I'll just cut out the pieces that I need just for the next step so I can kind of feel like I'm making progress quickly. So if you're one of those people and you just want to get started right away, just cut out the pieces for your gusset and the front of your bag because that's what we're going to be working on in week two. Let's get this out of the way. This is going to be the back of our bag. We just have one piece. I'm going to tell you that I ran out of fabric that I was using. I did not realize I didn't have, I thought I had the right measurements, but I didn't. So for this pattern, you can add a slip pocket on your back and a slip pocket inside. I do not have enough material for that, so I will not be doing adding any slip pockets in my bag. But I think most, if you have any problems making your slip bag, let me know, but slip pocket. If you have any problems making your slip pocket, let me know, but it's a basic slip pocket that's pretty simple to make. So this is my back piece. I'm also going to go ahead and cut out two pieces of Decaville Light. For the back, I can go ahead and add my Decaville Light now. It is ready to be added. But for my front, since we're piecing that pocket together, I cannot add my Decaville Light until I finish getting my front constructed. So I'm not going to add the back yet. I'm going to wait and I'll just do it all together and have that all in one step. Now let's talk about the interior of the bag. Like I mentioned, you can cut and make this super simple and you could just cut out four of these pieces and make your front, your back, and your two interiors. But it's a lot more fun to add some fun features to your bag. But anyway, just so you know, this is how one of your interior pieces will look. On this interior piece would be your slip pocket if you were gonna add it. Also, since this is a birth bag, we have to include both zippers in this bag. It is a double birth bag. So don't be like thinking, oh, I'll just, I don't need both zippers. I'm only going to add one. If you do that, you will have to bind your bag at the end. So both zippers, unless you're choosing to bind. For your first interior piece, you will need to have either a zipper facing, which is the method I'm showing, or a zipper overlay. Your choice. Just one or the other for each lining piece. You'll also need a zipper pocket front and a zipper pocket back. For my second lining piece, this is the one with the credit card slots. It's a little more involved. So let's go over each piece here. We're going to need that same zipper pocket facing, zipper pocket front, zipper pocket back. Everything I'm using is cotton woven interface with the SF101 equivalent, which is Royal Pixie Light. So mid weight, medium weight, whatever you want to call it, interfacing on all these pieces. 
Then I'm going to need a card slot backing. This is in. Also, I have my pieces already folded, but I'm going to open them up and show them to you. Get that up. They're going to look just like this. This is going to be how you're going to make your card slots. I'm not interfacing any of these. If you want to go ahead and be prepped, you can go ahead and fold them, and the pattern does tell you what the measurements will be once you fold these to make sure you're doing it the right way. But you will need three of these. Then you will need a credit card. I think it's called a slip pocket. I'm sorry, I don't have it wrote on there. Credit card slip pocket. This will be at the top. Let me show you this just so you kind of understand it a little better. That will be at the top. And then your pieces are going, your credit card slots are going to kind of fit right down here below. So if you're wondering about coloring, that's kind of the way that'll look. And then you're going to add it to this piece. And then we will add our two credit card sides. And then that's going to give you that same shape as your other interior and backs. So this is kind of how you'll build that if you want to kind of figure out what colors you want to use and things of that. I will also have, I'll also be using some small pieces of Decaville Light. What we will do is we will fit those in the top. It'll just be slipped in there and interfaced at the top of that little pal, um, credit card slot for a little more stability when you're putting your credit cards in and out. So these are all the pieces you will need to create the Lotus Lane crossbody bag. This pattern, um, this week will be the hardest week you will have as far as cutting and interfacing. It just takes a while. Cutting and interfacing is always the hardest part. On week two, we will go over the exterior and the gusset, so we'll take care of that on week two. Week three, we will do all the interior, and then week four, we will put everything together. So you will find the information in the KB Crafts Facebook group. I'll have that linked in my description below. And any other questions, just ask. But we will see you back here on next week for week two, and we will start sewing then.